we turn to the opposite side of the argument, Brian Sapient and Kelly will tell us why they don't believe that God exists. Brian. Thank you, Martin. This is the microchip that could one day be implanted under the skin of every Just single American. I not touch on the Bible at all. Um, I we have a Florida family today, who are really pioneers in a brave new world. They have volunteered to be the first ever to have microchip identification devices implanted into the their body. Challenge. Jesus said all sins should be forgiven of man except blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So pedophiles, murderers, as long as you're Christian in prison, you can feel safe. And if just you truly around the next high tech corner, true, an electronic chip heaven. like this that can be implanted under your kid's uh, skin. You know, just outside, you have, you know, in the infrared range. What's emerging now are weapon laser weapons, where the effect is that of the laser, and they can be hole burners, what we call very high energy laser, because with the concentrated energy, uh, you can literally drill holes you know, in, a in a target. Um, there's just a huge gaping hole in this argument. It's, it's so obvious, it really doesn't warrant an answer. But most simply, simply put, if all creations need a creator, then what created God? And was that God's God? And was that God's this God's God? This uh, comes from the Air Force website. It's also uh, on the Federation of American Scientists. They explain how they're going to get you to accept implantable microchips. It says the PR implications, how they're going to use the media to condition the public to take microchips. This was from the January. The global positioning system consists of a constellation of 24 satellites and their ground stations working together. GPS uses these man-made stars as reference points to calculate positions accurate to a matter of meters. And in some cases, you know, anti-scientists like Ray make claims of intelligent design, yet everywhere we look we see the evidence of a system that wasn't intelligently designed. I have nipples and mammary glands. We have a blind spot in the human eye, which he thinks is perfect, but yet the image is sent to our brain backwards. Our ecosystem depends on life, killing life, in order to survive. Snakes have legs that they don't use, which is a remnant of the evolutionary past. Is there, for example, a microchip, that they a watch, designed a tracking device we can use for our kids? We are working on a product that we have called internally a PLD. PLD stands for Personal Locating Device which is an implantable GPS for which our company owns a patent and can be implanted surgically in the clavicle area of a child or someone that you are interested in tracking. It is an impl the first implantable microchip for humans that has multiple security, financial, and health care applications. That, there's an invisible gnome on my shoulder right now, and I live it every day, and, um, you know, it's true. It doesn't make it true to reality. No houses, no jobs, no nothing without it. They're actually announcing it. They're going to put it in place, and you are the terrorist. You've already heard them say it. Gun owners, Christians, conservatives, libertarians, liberals, anybody that doesn't go along with global new world world order tyranny will be watched, will be controlled, will so be So I'd just like to remind all of you that you are atheists, just like Ray and Kirk are when it comes to Zeus, Apollo, Thor, or any other of the countless imaginary people that Ground we've based come lasers up with have also been tested. Human history. And an analyst with Jane's Defense Weekly believes U.S. military planners are at least thinking of developing satellites with attack capability. What about How could the one of these orbiters the blast There's another a ton from of other space? Laws right there in that same book. Do you feel bad if you eat pork or wear a polyester blend? Do we need forgiveness for that? Six hundred, three score. Ray also claims that, you know, his God is the moral lawgiver. Why is it that morality requires some kind of ultimate source? What about other qualities that society has deemed to be beneficial? Like democracy. Ray might as well say that democracy requires an ultimate source, and it's Captain America. Something, cutting organs, cutting limbs, attacking the neck, attacking the abdomen, and goes out. There was no explosion to here, no metal fragments or shrapnels or bullets in the bodies. So they themselves were thinking of some strange kind of weapons. There were of several types of directed know. energy weapons. 
And basically what they do is they are known as speed of light because they shoot electrons very fast over very long distances. Uh, lasers, of course, are in the light range. Uh, then there's microwave weapons that are operating at other frequencies. But basically they're beam weapons uh, in which nothing phys physical goes out. The electrons move. But the Most of kinetic but weapons of them, by you shooting big bullets. Some of them have no head. The head being cut. Some of them, the arms, the legs. The only one who didn't injure was the driver. And really, I don't know how he reached our hospital. Because one hand, one arm was in his lap. One head beside him. It was a very, very strange, horrible, horrible, horrible thing. In the the bodies that were not hit by projectiles had shrunk to just slightly more than one meter in height. Can, can I ask you a question about some of the technology that you're developing to fight the war on terror, specifically directed energy and high-powered microwave technology? Do you, uh, when do you envision that you can weaponize that type of technology? In, in the normal order of things, when you invest in research and development and begin a developmental project, uh, you don't have any intention or expectations that one would use it. Uh, on the other hand, the real world intervenes from time to time and you reach in there and take something out that is still in a developmental stage and you might use it. So it, the ans I, it's not, your question is not answerable. It is. It is. Uh, it depends on what happens in the future and how, how well things move along the track, and whether or not someone feels it's appropriate to reach into a development stage and see if something might be useful, as was the case with the unmanned aerial vehicles. But you sound like you're willing to experiment. With it. I, I think that's the point, and I think, and it's we, we have, I think, from the beginning of this conflict, I think General Franks has been very open to looking at uh, new things if there are new things available, and has been been willing to, to put them into the fight even before they've been fully wrung out and I think that's uh, not referring to these two particular cases of directed energy or, or high powered microwave uh, but, but sure and, yes. and we will continue to do that. An Ohio company has become the first American firm to implant silicon chips in employees to track their every move. Don't be surprised if your company asks to tag you. Then there is the issue of privacy and whether employers might start demanding employees get the chip implanted as a form of ID. By the Mexican government, implanted in officials needing high security clearance. In Spain, chipped VIPs at the Baja Beach Club can pay for drinks simply by waving their hands under a scanner. Is that in Ray's world, morality itself is obsolete. The only thing that matters is faith. Hitler who was a Catholic, despite what everybody else wants to tell you, can go to heaven because he believed in Jesus. But the six million unrepentant Jews that he murdered, they get to go to hell. That's a nice guy, But here's that a God. scary thought. All the uses for RFID tags are now bringing up questions about whether the information stored in them is really safe from hackers. It is quite possible that this tag could be hacked. Anyone with a simple laptop setup and a RFID antenna at the correct frequencies uh, can pick up my tag number. Their beliefs not scientific. Creation doesn't demand a creator. They use guilt and dishonesty to try to force you into a position where you need their God. And there are way more better arguments for the development of morality than God did it. Can you describe what you're saying? The Christian God doesn't exist, but it is possible that... He will use this technology to force the world to worship him. Mommy, the Christian God doesn't exist, but it is possible that some sort of alien... Mommy, Houston, he will require saying? all who follow him to receive a special, unique identification number. Mommy, Houston, the Christian God doesn't exist, but it is possible that some sort of alien... Mommy, the locations of the GPS satellites are also defined, becoming orbiting reference points. Using a process based on triangulation, a GPS receiver processes the signals from multiple satellites to compute an accurate position on Earth. Experts say many American GPS satellites, which guide smart weapons and troop movements, are more than a thousand miles into space.